What is going on, everybody? I am very sorry about the delay on videos. Um, had a lot of catching up to do. Demolition Cuda it is probably the craziest project that we have in here right now. So earlier today, uh, Matt and I went over to Smetting Performance, checked out the turbos that are going on the Cuda. Now, it was absolutely insane, and a video will be coming out you know, in a, a week or so, it on Mass Channel, Demolition Ranch. No, it's gonna be on Off the Ranch, I'm sorry. And uh, you'll be able to see the size of these turbos, insane. But one thing I do have here today, see that box, that yellow box back there? So Matt showed up today with that and the header, the manifold, the header, that David from SIE Power uh, he made for the Cummins Cuda. So that thing is pretty wicked. I'm gonna show you that. That's how it looks on, on the car. Totally cool. I love it. Turned out great. Uh, it's just, I don't have any words for this. This is just crazy kick-ass stuff. I mean, it's just bad. So this turbo on the bottom is the size we're going with for the first one. And then this one will feed into the bigger one that sits right about here. The front of it is gonna sit maybe right about here. As far as what we're gonna do with the exhaust coming off the back of that and not getting too close to the wall, I don't know. But just look at, look at this thing. It's nuts. Great looking piece, super strong. It's uh, seriously thick. I mean, the guy just did an incredible job. And so did his girl in that box. I think it was awesome. Let's see if I can keep that. We're not gonna go too much further uh, until we actually get the other turbo and get it set up here and we can put the fender back on. Matt and I just took this fender off today so that we can get in there and screw around with the, the header and see just how that thing's gonna look. But I think what we're gonna do also is take these lines that come off the uh, P-pump and have, just do a lot more curve to them to match all this going on over here. And then we also have a pipe that's gonna come off of here, roll around and come down to the intercooler and then back up to the turbo. How all this works is this turb, the exhaust uh, coming out of here spools up the turbo. The exhaust then, you know, it goes around this and then comes out the back. The exhaust is going to go to the exhaust side, that right there, of the bigger turbo. And it's going to bolt together. So this will come out to a flange like that. And then the other turbo, the big one's going to bolt up to this on this side right here. And then the exhaust from the big turbo is going to go out the sides, out the sides of our fenders, out the back of the car, or whatever we're going to do. By the way, look at that fender. That's the dually fender. We'll get to that in a sec. The intake side of the turbo, it's gonna go from the big one. So now, bear with me. This one's gonna spool up this turbo and make this turbo run. And then it's gonna spit out air through here on the big turbo into this one. And then from here, it's gonna go to the intercooler to cool off the air and then over and up into the intake of the motor and then the big turbo the big one which is like an 80 millimeter is going to have the air cleaner on it the filter i think i got that right um then we're gonna have to make brackets and all that kind of stuff to hold this up this right here weighs i don't know i'm guessing probably 70 pounds or so so i know it's like 30 or probably 40 maybe 40 or 50. And then this, no, that's probably about 40 pounds. And this is, maybe, maybe this is about 40, 30, 40. No. It's like a thousand pounds. That's what uh, David made. And then this, this is a factory one. This is actually off of a commercial uh, motor. It came off a UPS truck, but that's what a factory one looks like. Just plain and boring. And then you got that. It's amazing. Looks great.
This is a bolt-on fender. It's modeled after a, a second-gen Dodge Dually fender. And it's going pretty good. I mean, I'll show you. That's what we got right now. So I've been on this for two days. Um, actually, I made this like uh, probably about a week and a half ago, this bottom section. And then made the back portion the other day. And then this front part today. So you can see the shape that this is gonna be here. That's what we're looking for. So I might have too much curve on this. Well, maybe not, cause this is gonna come out a little bit, but you get the point. As you can see, this has got a curve here, which is that curve there. And then it's gonna flow over and then up like that to this rod that runs across right here. And then everything at the end will just taper out and be really nice by the time it's done. But you can see with the tape, the tape line, how much that thing pops out. Comes out a lot. So it's looking pretty good. Um, all of this is done with the plenishing hammer, English wheel, shrinker stretcher, and all that, that good stuff. Uh, we got a break down here just to keep that body line going. There's a body line you can see right here and it flows right into it. Same thing with the back. Back's got it too. And then to fill in this gap here, just like a, a factory dually, it'll have that, I don't even know what kind of plastic it is, but it goes across and you have all those little thumb clips that you put in. I don't know the correct term for them, but then we're gonna move on to the door and you can kind of start to see, there's the door, the gap right here, this door gap, and that gap's gonna run all the way down, right past that body line, and then come over to the door gap. So that whole section will open up with the door. And then right here is either gonna be a factory CUDA door handle, which is kind of flush mounted, um, or, we have the option of putting more of a Corvette style door handle up here on top and go with that. So you can comment down below and tell me what you think about that and the door handles. I don't really know exactly which way to go. The top one you probably won't see, which is good. And the side one, it'll look like a Cuda. So do that and then I'll run it by Matt. So anyways, um, this whole thing is bolt on. So if we ever need to take it off for any reason and do some work to it, we can, we can take it off. So each one of these has a nut on the back, a nut and washer, and they're all accessible. So we can get to every single one of these all the way down around and back around. So down here, uh, just like the factory dualies, we're just gonna put the bolts on the pinch weld. You can see back here, the shape of everything. How it's probably gonna look, looking pretty good. Down here you can see, it, we kept the Cuda body line, and then it's just almost like a wide body down here, but kept the Cuda body line down there. So it'll actually look like a Cuda fender. And Tony's over here today, he is fixing up the other fender on the other side, finishing it out while I do the dually fender. It's doing a good job on that. Things coming up pretty good. In the next week, we'll see this thing completely finished out. And then I'll go on to the even harder part of making the other side, which is never fun. I hate doing the other side of anything. I mean, doing the first one's cool, but the second one always sucks. Cause then you gotta get your contour gauges out and you know, go through the whole process. But on this side, you just get to do whatever you want. An example of the top lip, that's what we're looking at. That lip that runs all the way around here and it'll fade out like this. So this is what I'm basing this fender off of, except this is in a totally different shape but like I said, that top lip, that's how that's gonna be. That's why I have that cardboard piece there. So, we should see a lot of progress on this thing coming up pretty soon in the next uh, week. I will definitely be posting videos on it. Um, we have 
merch coming, our shirts, uh, we got flags, we got uh, some pretty cool stickers, and um, we got shirts even in kids' sizes too, which my kid will be happy about that, so. And we also got girls' tank tops. Uh, those will be coming up in the next week, maybe two. I just got some a few things to square away, and we're good to go. And you'll be able to go on to Bunker Branding, Bunker Branding com and look at the uh, muscle rod shop um, icon in there and get whatever you want these shirts I have on uh, we really don't sell online we never have so I don't know if we're gonna do that or not but uh, we're only running probably five or six different shirts just to start out with uh, some of them have the skull some of them have the flag some have just muscle rod or muscle rod shop across the front. So they're not, you know, all crazy and whatnot, but uh, we're just gonna run those first and see what happens. And if they're, if they do good, then we're gonna come up with a bunch of other designs, different cars to put on the shirt, maybe eventually this thing when Matt gives us the okay. So um, I can't wait, it's gonna be cool. Eventually we're gonna have hats, which I can't wait for it because I love hats. So uh, thank you for watching and subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you next time.